Hi everyone, good morning. Today we're gonna talk uh, very quickly about what it means to measure arc length given a radius or given the area. So um, this is pretty quick. You do need your calculator, so have that ready to go. And let's see what this means. So if I wanted to find the length of an arc, previously we talked about the measure of an arc. Measure of an arc deals with the angle measure. But if I say length of the arc, I actually wanna know from the circumference around the circle, how long is just that particular arc? I can figure out the angle measure. Again, we did that in the previous lesson, but now if I wanna know how long that is, like if I was to take a pipe cleaner and I had my circle, the arc would be me figuring out how much of this pipe cleaner actually makes the circle. That's the arc length. I'm not worried about the angle measure of it anymore. I'm just worried about how much of this circle is there. If I can figure out my circumference of the circle, that's the full length around the circle, but just the arc length. And the formula looks like this. L, which is the length of that arc, is equal to x over 360, so it's the degree of the central angle that intercepts that arc, times 2 pi r. And we should know 2 pi r because that's just simply circumference of a circle. So here, if I gave you this circle here and I said to you, I want you to calculate the, the length of arc BC. Notice I didn't put the M in front of it because M would mean the measure of the angle of the arc. When I just have arc BC, that is going to talk about the length of that arc. So B, arc BC would be equal to 100 over 360, so the angle measure, times 2 times pi times 4. So 2 pi r, 2 pi times the radius r. I'd go ahead and plug that into my calculator. When I do this, guys, I would just suggest to you just do 100 divided by 360, keep it fresh in your calculator, then multiply it by 8. 2 times 4 is 8, and then multiply it by pi. And you can use 3.1415, however far out you want to go, or you could just simply use the pi key on your calculator. And the result, rounded to the nearest hundredths place, and all of these are going to be rounded to the hundredths, is 6.98 units. If I asked you to calculate the length of an arc, and I didn't even give you a circle and I gave you the area, here's what this would look like. It says, since area formula of a circle is pi r squared, we can solve for r and then use that for our formula. So if I gave you an area of a circle, and I told you the area of a circle was 25 pi, it says find the length of an arc with a central angle of 60 degrees. So if I know the area of a circle is 25 pi, I can go ahead and plug that in for my area A. And if I wanted to solve for R, think about it, I would divide both sides by pi, and then I would have to take the square root. And it would show me that my area, I'm sorry, my radius of that circle would be five. Once I have my radius of 5, I can go ahead and plug it into this formula the same way I did here. I would be able to then say that the length of the arc would be equal to 60 over 360 times 2 pi 5, my radius of 5. And if I round it to the nearest hundredth place, I should be getting 5.24 units. Okay, let's take a look. Over here on the left, it's going to be those problems with just calculating a specific arc that I'm going to tell you. So our first one here would be if I wanted to calculate the arc length of BC, I would do x over 360 times 2 pi r. My x here is 105, my r is 3. So 105 over 360 is times 2 pi times 3. Round to the nearest hundredth place, you should be getting in your calculator. Um, I, that's when I rounded if this to the hundredth place was still 5.5, or you can write 5.50. Next one, if I said to calculate the arc of DC, okay, if I was calculating the arc of DC, here in this figure, I'm given that the diameter is 8, and we know if the diameter is 8, then that means the radius is 4. So this is going to be x over 360 times 2 pi r. So arc DC is equal to 60 over 360 times 2 pi 4, which is, again, the radius we're shown the diameter is 8, my radius would be 4. If I multiply that out, you should be getting 4.19. If I wanted to find the arc of BCD, what I have to see here is that when I go to apply my formula for arc BCD, arc BCD is a major arc. It covers 100 degrees plus 90. So I'm dealing with 190 over 360. My radius is 5, and you should be able to get 16.58 units. This last one here, C, 
D, B. So definitely a major arc, C, D, B, all the way around. If I wanted to calculate C, D, B, okay, 360 over, uh, X over 360 times 2 pi R. If this is a diameter, which it is because it goes through my center, and this is 85 degrees, I have to know that this is 180, okay? And then from here, this is 180, and 180 minus 85 would give me 95. So if I add 180, okay, this arc here, plus 95, I get 275 times 2 times pi times 6, and you should be able to get 28.80 units. Area of a circle, so we're going to plug in our area, we're going to find our radius, and then once we have our radius, we're going to plug it into our next. So it says if the area of a circle is 36 pi, find the length of an arc with a central angle of 45. So 36 pi equals pi r squared. Divide both sides by pi, take the square root, we have our radius is 6. Go ahead, plug in our values into our formula, so the length of the arc would be 45 over 360 times 2 pi 6 and we should be able to get 4.71 units. If the area of a circle is 100 inches squared, find the length of an arc with a central angle of 110 degrees. So 100 equals pi r squared, divide both sides by pi. I am rounding to my hundredths place for this. Take the square root, r is about 5.64. Let's go ahead, plug our values in. And then definitely you wanna be using your calculator for this to get all of your values. We should be getting 10.83. If the area of a circle is 50 centimeters squared, find the length of an arc with a central angle of 90 degrees. Last one, guys. So 50 equals pi r squared. Divide both sides by pi. Square root. Plug in my angle of 90 with my radius of 3.99, and we get our length value. I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.